So this is the Grail Ultralight Backpacking Filter, and it's what I've decided to use for my uh, method of water preparation for drinking water for this trip. So let's uh, give it a shot, let's test it out. This is kind of the components that you're dealing with here. This is your internal container, and that's the filter on the bottom. This is the water you're drinking is going to be coming out of here. And this is what you're actually going to fill up with the water, and there's a fill line on it. So. A little higher. Alright, so there we go. And so I'm going to put this in. Alright, so you just push this down. It actually takes a decent amount of force. Uh, it takes quite a bit, actually. These sore, sore shoulders from hiking. Alright, and it looks like we have filtered water. Is it nasty looking? It looks beautiful. It looks perfectly fine. That looks like that's out of the tap. There we go. Oh, wow. That is super crisp. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, so I'm going to actually take a drink of it and just see how it actually tastes. I'm amazed, actually. Yeah? This tastes like this came out of the sink at home. Nice. That is a fantastic product. Okay. So let me tell you, Big Cypress has been hell on my water filter. It's gotten quite a bit black and pushing this thing down further and further into it is becoming more and more difficult each time. I don't have a lot of energy because I'm backpacking and uh, using all of my energy to walk with a heavy bag. I'm actually putting in a decent amount of effort. I can tell man, looks like you're straining. Like you have to strain to do it. I can't push as hard. I can't push as hard as I want, or this thing will just go flying off the log. But uh, so he's doing a balancing act as well. It is pretty nice to have the instant gratification of water being there in just a matter of seconds of you starting. Fresh water, and you can drink directly out of it as well An as extra holding container. Yes. Yeah. So I. So, what would I rate this product out of 10, 10 stars? Um, would you go with like a 7? I think I would. I think I'm giving this product a solid 7. Um, if it was marked a little bit lower, if it was maybe at like a $60 price point instead of 80 I think I could totally give this like a 9. So, yeah. I would like to start by saying that this was not a paid endorsement. Why are you we're cracking up over there? Because <laughs> I'm just supposed to be stone-faced. Right. I would like to start by saying that this was not a paid endorsement of this product, and we are merely providing our opinion on their eff effectiveness. <laughs> Alright. Alright. <coughs> Let's do it again. And as always, thanks for watching Explorida. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help out.